Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anime Shaha. I am a clinical oncologist and today we will be discussing about nutrition in head and neck cancer patient undergoing radiotherapy and chemotherapy. So uh, radiotherapy with or without chemotherapy when used in head and neck cancer patient can cause a lot of uh, side effects uh, that includes uh, pain in throat, uh, difficulty in swallowing food, dryness of mouth, alteration of taste, uh, nausea, vomiting, etc. That can lead to significant nutritional compromise. Uh, more than 10% weight loss has been noted in about 30 to 50% patient undergoing uh, radiotherapy and chemotherapy together and in about 10 to 20% patient of uh, who are undergoing radiotherapy alone. This can result in uh, infections, dehydration, uh, increased hospitalization, delayed recovery, treatment interruption, and worse oncological outcomes. So a trained dietitian along with a doctor should uh, do a nutrition assessment of every head and neck cancer patient undergoing radiotherapy and chemotherapy. So uh, the calorie requirement would be around 25 to 30 kilocalorie per kg body weight uh, per day. And the protein requirement varies between 1.2 to 1.5 gram per kg body weight per day, but might vary depending on the physical structure or physical activity of the patient. Along with that, patient needs to have a balanced diet that will also have uh, adequate carbohydrate, fat, vitamins, minerals, immunonutrition, antioxidant, omega-3 fatty acid, glutamine, arginine, and last but not the least, water. Patient needs to drink plenty of water while they are on uh, chemotherapy and radiotherapy for head neck cancer, unless there is other contra contraindication. So, patient of head neck cancer who are undergoing radiotherapy and chemotherapy, uh, they should be encouraged to have oral feeding. In cases they cannot have oral feeding, there are other options like enteral feeding and parenteral feeding. So, those who are able to uh, tolerate oral feed should be encouraged to have those. So with, even with mild to moderate difficulty, patient should have uh, a different type of food or changing the consistency and frequency of the food will also help. Sometimes nutritional supplement also help in head neck cancer patient. So patient who are not able to have oral feeding, uh, those should be considered for enteral feeding. So internal feeding can be nasogastric tube or nasojejunal tube or feeding gastrostomy or feeding jejunostomy. There are different measures of giving feeding internally. Uh, the reason for giving internal feeding might be the patient is not able to tolerate oral feed because of the side effects from the chemotherapy or surgery or patient is aspirating food while having oral feeding those patients should be considered for enteral feeding. In patients where GI tract is inaccessible for nutritional administration, those patients should be considered for parenteral feeding. It is quite uncommon, uh, I would say less than 1% patient would need uh, parenteral nutrition. Here, what we do, we give all the nutrition through intravenous uh, channel and often we need a central venous catheter for feeding patient intravenously. That's all for today. Thank you for listening.